What's going on, Nerd Army guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Nerdy Movie Night. Now, tonight, guys, is a special one and a special nostalgic episode. This is where we're going to be reviewing Ready Player One. Now, I went into this movie expecting a crap ton of nostalgia. I have read the Ready Player One book. I know it's not exactly like it, and there are some major differences, but all in all, it was a cool story and visually this movie was phenomenal now this movie was slam full of tons and tons of nostalgia that we all know and love throughout all different types of pop culture video games movies everything you can think of this movie had it now i've actually seen this twice at the time of this filming and i gotta say there are so many different things that you can pop out and you can notice on your second time around seeing this film because there are so many pop culture references you would never see all of them on your first trip. I kept thinking, is there too much nostalgia in this film? Is there gonna be a point where in this film I'm gonna be tired of seeing all these things from my childhood and all this nostalgia just overflowing everywhere? And I went into this expecting there to be a point when that happened, but I gotta tell you, it never came. I loved every second of this damn movie. And the story itself was really, really cool. Now, if you don't know, Ready Player One is a film that is centered around a virtual world known as the Oasis. Now, the world itself is kind of shitty and it's overpopulated and ridiculous, but the fact is, is that everyone ventures off to the Oasis. Now, when the Oasis creator dies, he actually leaves Easter eggs throughout the Oasis that they can go capture, find the hidden Easter eggs that he has left, will control and own the Oasis. So like, guys, this is like a cash grab. This is rat race right here. Everyone's running for this money. But throughout the entire story, I believe and I really feel that every time we jumped into the Oasis, I just felt that it was where we belong. This film, it could have been 100% in the Oasis and given us a tiny bit of story on the outside and that would have been just fine because the Oasis was so visually breathtaking. It was just so cool. I wish I could retire to the Oasis forever. And I know I'm not the only one. You guys probably going to come with me. Let's go to the Oasis, y'all. All right, guys. But let me know what you guys thought about this film. Me, personally, I'm going to have to rate this with a solid B+. It was a great film. There was a couple things and a couple points where I felt the movie was a little slow or it could have used a little more development here and there. But all in all, it was a fun, fun movie to go see. If you have not seen it, check it out. It is definitely worth checking out. Great, great film, guys. Let me know what you guys thought about Ready Player One down in the comments down below. And guys, let me know what you thought about my down in the comments below as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all the videos we put out every week. And I will see you guys next time right here on Nerds Marize for another episode of Nerdy Movie Night. All right, guys. Peace out.